Hello, classic Andy Chandler. I'm getting very annoyed with this camera. <laughs> oh, it's working a minute ago. <laughs> Hello, Peter Evans. Oh, this camera. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Musical Theatre Cabaret. Um, because it's all change, isn't it? It's all change. What you can do if you're a bit freaked out by the difference in time is you can <laughs> just kind of watch this at nine o'clock and pretend that we're still the rock and rolling, high kicking nightlife loving lunatics that you have come to expect us to be are we at some kind of dutch yes. angle yes i thought so um so yes yeah, thank you so much for turning up and joining us here at the musical tc uh this afternoon and all of us who are here poking our heads in from side to side <laughs> um oh and there's quite a few of you here so that's really nice but you know obviously things change and it's school tomorrow i have to go to school uh so I have to make sure my trigonometry homework is uh, done because uh, I've got trigonometry in the morning with Mr. Jensen. Uh, I've got PE as well. I've got to make sure my shoes are polished and my shorts are ironed. I've got to go and have my bath. Uh, you know, school tomorrow. So we're doing this nice and early. Uh, but I hope it's still a lot of fun. One uh, kind of upside of doing it this early, I think, is that because uh, what I tend to do is partake of the northern alchemy and such like things. Uh, and I, you know, begin to slur my words by the end of the, the show, usually. That's not going to happen tonight. So the chances of me completing a coherent sentence have increased significantly. Uh, I mean, they're still not high, but it's just significantly higher than it normally is. So I may make some sense. Let's look out for that. Uh, we've got a special guest. Yes, we do. We have a special guest, an amazingly special guest, without whom it is safe to say 
um, the musical theatre cabaret wouldn't exist. There would be no musical theatre cabaret without this special guest. That's exciting. So what we got, we got Coherent Maurice, ah, Maurice, uh, Coherent Maurice, a uh, special guest without whom there would be no musical theatre cabaret. And lastly, and most importantly, we have the star of the show. It's the afternoon, so don't go too wild, but start, you know, tapping silent, quietly. And welcome to the stage, Dame Jenny Winter. <laughs> My goodness me! Thank you very much, Maurice. Um, hello, everyone. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant that we've got nine people, to be honest, because it's Sunday afternoon. How is everyone? Can you see the top of my head? That's the question on everyone's lips. because today we have with us a very special guest, an expert in musical theatre uh, up to about 1960. Ask him anything after that and you're going to absolutely bamboozle him. So, um, but ask him anything about what happened in shows before then and you're going to be dazzled. Uh, so, without further ado, Maurice, go and let him know. <laughs> He's a bit old and deaf. <laughs> no, can we edit that out? <laughs> I'll give you a little entrance song. today unfortunately because Pam was very lucky two weeks ago to win a signed copy of Blue Skies and Silver Linings Aspects of the Hollywood Musical. That classic book on Hollywood musicals which I have read from cover to cover many times. Ask me anything about it but we're not here to talk about what I've read. We're here to find out as much as we can about musicals. So today, instead of our usual quiz, although we do have a quiz uh, that we've been playing around with anyway, for fun, uh, but instead of our usual quiz, we're going to ask the audience right now, get going, to submit questions. 
what have you always wanted to know about musical theatre but were too afraid to ask? Um, so they're going to ask you lots of things. Now we have a very, a very clever audience. So I hope you've been... Um, I've been uh, revising off stage, yes. Uh, great, yeah. great. So, um, so <coughs> I'll, I'll kick off the questions, if I may. Mm -hmm. Have you got a top hat? <laughs> I haven't got a top hat. Uh, I've got some Panama hats, not quite the same thing. Mm. <laughs> not, a not, not a top hat. Okay, that's that's fine. That's that's a good. That was a, that was a <clears throat> terrible question. Um, I've got a good one. This is if you're in the presence of a professor of musicals. This is what you should always ask. What's your favourite musical? Well, that's very difficult. Uh, I love Top Hat, of course. I love some of the Lubitsch musicals, One Hour with You, uh, and then later on the biopics like uh, the Eddie Duchin story or um, uh, Night and Day, the story of the, the biography of. Cole Porter, I think I like all of those, perhaps equally. Ooh, that's a lot of excellent musicals, isn't it? Everyone's going to go and start watching those shows tonight, I'm sure. I'll ask you one more question, if I may, uh, before our audience starts submitting their questions. They're, they're just working up to them. Um, uh, my other question is, um, who do you think wrote the best songs? Ah, oh, difficult. Uh, Cole Porter, wonderful, wonderful Cole Porter, perhaps top of the list. But but I love uh, Rogers and Hart as well. I love Lorenz Hart, who was known as the poet of Broadway, and what a poet he was. <laughs> Beautiful. But there are so many. Gershwin, Berlin, Jerome Kern, it's difficult to, to um, distinguish between them. But I suppose Cole Porter and Lorenz Hart. Oh, great. And Lorenz Hart wrote things like um, Pal Joey. Pal Joey yeah. So is that things like Bewitched and If yeah. I Could Write a Book? Yes, yes. Very good choice, Professor. Good afternoon, Daniel. Mm -hmm. And good afternoon, John Farthing. Maurice has changed. Uh, if it, well, well, yes. Yes, keep up, John Farthing. Uh, <laughs> um, I shall ask you a final question before we hand over to... Um, our audience, brilliant, because Hazel Burns in with a question, excellent. Uh, so my final question is, um, what do you like best about musicals? I love the, uh, the, the dynamism, the energy, the, the fun, the, uh, the optimism, the, the, well, those that were made in colour, beautiful colour, the experimentation, uh, and the songs. There's, there's a wonderful uh, sort of, um, uh, how should you put it, uh, pattern of uh, wonderful delights, sound and music and, and sights. Wow, that's, that's given us all a little thrill uh, to think about musical things. Well, that's fantastic, Professor. Now, if you don't mind, the audience are going to submit their questions and we will bring you back on with Maurice, right. who, will, who will answer your questions. So I'll give you a little, a little exit music. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, good. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you very soon, goodbye. Thank you, Professor! Wow, a real prof Oh, I forgot to ask which professor it is, because of course we have two professors. After, if someone wants to submit that as a question, which professor are you? We are dying to know. Uh, I've got a song here that I really want to sing, but I'm not going to do it yet. So there. Oh, maybe I am. I shouldn't deviate from the set list, should I? Andy Chandler's in with a question. Oh, this is very exciting indeed. Uh, all right, I'm just going to do the song too gonna do it it's completely inappropriate not inappropriate just the wrong mood for our marvelous audience but
Harry Warren. Wrote loads of other stuff because I remember saying his name loads <laughs> over the few weeks, months, years that we've been here. <laughs> okay, we will do one more song and then I think we better have some questions. I will have to leave us a seat for the professor over there. Um, <laughs> so um, I've gone very off, um, off what we're supposed to do. I've lost it anyway. Was the other, was that um, Adele book gone? Never mind, that's makes that. Oh, gonna do a song by Adele. Uh, by Bob Dylan, of course. <laughs> uh, this is Make You Feel My Love by Bob Dylan. Good afternoon, Gary. For those of you that don't know Gary, Gary has an excellent cat and there are regular photos of it on Facebook, uh, which pleases me greatly. It's a smart ginger cat, which is my favorite type of cat. I happen to know Maurice rather likes them too. Don't you, Maurice? He's nodding. He's saying we, because he's French. Uh, this is actually from the Bob Dylan musical I discovered today. Two things that I'm here to do. 
There is a our traditional uh, pun-based task. Oh, yes. If you're here for the first time, you'll figure that out. I'm sure you're not here for the first time. <laughs> you'll figure it out. You will. In, in week one, we were like, oh, an audience. Let us give ourselves to the audience. What do they need? Look at yeah. this guy today. You'll figure it out. And if you don't, I don't care. No, I do. I do care. I do care. I do care. Of course I care. Of course I care. Um, Without this audience, you are nothing. Nothing. No, you're nothing. Without this audience, you're nout. I'm nout, yeah. <laughs> uh, but luckily, I have an audience, and so I'm something. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, so we have the special guest here, who I'm going to bring on in a second. Woo! Um, but, and did you explain your relationship with our special guest, or do you think that's... No, not... no let's let them guess. Okay. Hi, Dad. Clue, clue. <laughs> yeah. So subtle. <laughs> Um, but uh, he, you've heard him referred to as the professor. He is a professor. And so our pun based task, if you can be bothered, <laughs> is, to, is to make a musical academic in some way. To make it you know, university based, to make it something to do with degrees or studying or, you know, academic or professory. Ooh, no, yeah, academic yeah, is better yeah. than professory, isn't it? Thanks, thanks. Uh, professory academic. So, for example, you could have the dissertation of Mormon, Ooh. right? Or indeed the thesis of Mormon. Ooh. You know, both of them have now been taken. Uh, <laughs> Sunday in the library with George. With George. Says George yeah. <laughs> Sunday in the library with George. Avec George. Um, Phantom of the lecture hall, that kind of thing. But, you know, I, as I know full well, your ones, if you want to, will be better than those ones. I'm looking forward to reading them. Some questions have come in. Professor, ooh, ooh, Professor, ooh, join ooh. us. Uh, uh, welcome, 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 prof. <laughs> okay, right, so I wrote a few of them down. The questions came in almost immediately. Right, but yes. I, um, on a scale from one to ten, this is Hazel. Oh, yes. How much... Do you love Hamilton? Well, I have to be honest here. I didn't like it to start with, and I got to listen to it more and see it more, and I got used to it, and I like it very much now. So perhaps on a scale of one to ten, mm. maybe six and a half, seven. Well, that's really good news for Hazel, because Hazel's <clears throat> currently <clears throat> got a project, <clears throat> which is to get everyone in the world to see Hamilton. So she'll be delighted to know that you've seen it. Yeah. Yep, yep. This is great, good. That's very good news, and that was a great answer. <laughs> um, what do you love, Hazel, again, what do you love most about the online cabarets, apart from Maurice, of course? No, <laughs> Did what you, you love? No, I said that. But yeah, what do you love most about the online cabarets? Well, I love the performances of the two stars, but I love all the music that's played, because I love musicals. Mm. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Very good, good answer. You can tell he's the prof. Right, this is a sophisticated question from Jed. Ooh. What does the professor think about the new trend in movie musicals of actual actor vocals rather than the Marnie Lewis type overdubs of the past? Good well, question, Jed. Uh, yes. Uh, well, they, they, I think they both have their, their value. Um, I loved the, the, the dubbing of Marnie Nixon uh, in the past, but I think that it's more authentic now. So let's go with it. Oh, great. Great answer. Oh, great. Such good answers. Um, oh, I'm learning there's... something. I'm yeah, I'm learning this. something as well. <laughs> <laughs> Andy says, "What does the because there are two questions here, and I want to ask them both. So I'm asking the first one. I would anyway. What does the professor think of movie adaptations of stage musicals? Well, typically in the classical period, the the censorship in Hollywood meant that you couldn't sort of get away with some of the things that you could get away with on Broadway and and the West End here, but that's gone now and you can say um, and do things on film in the way that perhaps you couldn't in the 1940s and 50s and uh, however sometimes um, the musicals that dispensed with the more controversial elements of the stage stage musicals added something new they added color and bizarres and energy and so on and the great performances of stars like um, Frank Sinatra and Doris Day and so on and so forth. Oh, yeah, actually, it should be of no surprise to me. It's amazing. But these are great answers. <laughs> these are really great answers. Great questions. And then the follow-up from Andy. Yeah. Uh, did you see Cats? <laughs> the film. The film, Cats. Do you know, I have not seen either the film or the stage version. Me neither. Well, I should have to say that I, th I thought the movie adaptation was even better than the, the stage show. <laughs> I think the movie Cats was one of the greatest films I've ever now, seen. Now, Marie, some of our audience might like the movie Cats, so... so. <clears throat> and I'm agreeing with them. <laughs> 
Do you see any sarcasm? <laughs> Hello, Lisa Duffy. These are excellent oh. questions and excellent answers. Hello, Lisa. So there are probably... <laughs> oh, is there a popular musical that the professor secretly thinks is rubbish? Ooh, good question. Who's that from? And uh, Andy, yeah. Excellent question. Classic Andy. Uh, I'll have to think about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah, well, we'll come back yeah. and... Um, yeah. There'll be more questions and hopefully more uh, puns based on academia. Now, welcome, Lisa. Is Lisa Duffy a professor of musicals as well? Lisa has written a brilliant PhD thesis on classical Hollywood musicals. Yes! Oh, OK. Well, well I'm you, going to ask her... Oh, yeah, if there's anything the professor can't answer, we'll just uh, hand over to, to, yeah, do, do you mind. to Dr. Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she, uh, Lisa asks, who was the best female dancer of the studio era? Oh, uh, well... And then she has a follow-up question. Um, Why is it Sid Charisse? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's absolutely right. Sid Charisse was the best of all. Well, Anne Miller was pretty good, too. And uh, Eleanor Powell. But no, Sid Charisse takes some beating. And Fred Astaire said about Sid Charisse, with whom he danced, of course, um, in a couple of films, when you dance with Sid Charisse, you stay danced. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! What a great quote. That's wow, because I mean, people loved her so much that she uh, she wasn't a great singer, was she? So she was dubbed in yeah. Brigadoon yeah. and other films. Yeah. So you think she must have been a yeah. tremendous, tremendous dancer. Yeah. In, wow. Uh, well, there's uh, you know the the great um, Cold Porter movie, uh, Silk Stockings. Yeah. Um, and other films. Yeah. Have you lost? Yeah. Well, thank you, Professor and Maurice. I feel right. I feel energized and learning. Can I go so now? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, now you can go. <laughs> uh, oh, excellent, excellent uh, knowledge, professor, excellent questions from the audience, and excellent delivery of the questions from Maurice. <laughs> what is, I feel like the professor might like a chair over there. Maurice, Maurice fetch a chair. <laughs> and welcome, Lisa Duffy. How thrilling to have so many wise people at our show. I believe that one of the other professors is watching as well. The other professor can ask anything that uh, they like as well. Um, I'm delighted that we have 17 of you with us today. We have about a core audience of between 40 and 50 and about half come every week um, out of that group, which is absolutely amazing.
there. Uh, that was Maybe This Time from Cabaret. Is that backwards? It's backwards. Ah, Professor. Marvellous. Maybe this time it must be the other professor. We are absolutely honoured to have two professors with us at the Cabaret. I'm going to do one more song. Oh, I'm going to do a song for the professors. I wrote it down here. What is it? Uh, let's do some songs that, because we have a very special guest with us tonight, the professor. Let's do some of the professor's favourite songs. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music. Excellent puns. Mary Poppins returns to research <laughs> <laughs> the jungle textbook. Great. That was from Anne as well. They were both from Anne. A uh, funny thing happened on the way to the lecture theatre. Uh, kiss me, Kate, and I'll change your grade to an A. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, Saturday night exam fever. Oh, there was a good one. Oh, but well, Jules, I think this is my favourite. There's no syllabusness like show syllabusness. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, that is brilliant. 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 Well done, Jules. That one well done, is well in the lead at the moment. Um, but then some questions for the professor, some serious questions yeah. as well. Oh, uh, silliness here. What do you think, says, asks Gary, of uh, Stephen Sondheim and his repertoire? Oh, Excellent. Gone very modern. Yes. Excellent. Very, very witty uh, lyrics. I mean, the, the melodies. Um, aren't as melodious as they might be, but there you are, it's a different style of musical. By the way, somebody asked me before, um, which musical that I think was um, highly rated, which wasn't so good in my opinion, and the, one, the only one I can come up with is Les Miserables. I couldn't, I really don't like the, the, the tunes in that, in that show, so that's Good answer. answering Good answer. a previous question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's play that game then. So you answer the current <laughs> question with the previous question. <laughs> the Archbishop of Gandhi. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> a different shape. Charlie's on. No. Um, Great answer. Good answer. Good answer. Someone. Oh, I forgot to write down who asked it. I might have been Jed. Uh, Gene Kelly or Fred Astaire, who would you say was the best or most innovative? 
they're both wonderful in their own right. Um, Gene Kelly is the proletarian hero, uh, all barrel-chested and leaping around the place uh, in uh, informal clothes, and Fred, of course, is the, the suave, elegant man about town, uh, each in their own way. They, they're in, they can't be compared. Oh, Jed, I think if that was you, you'd have another question which has just turned up. What are your views on the sung through musicals a la Lloyd Webber versus classic text stroke sung Hollywood musicals? Um, I, to tell you the truth, I'm not a great Andrew Lloyd Webber fan, so I, I, I think I better reserve judgment on that. I, I don't really know enough about him. Um, I've, I've, I've not, uh, you know, I. I haven't, I, I haven't been to see the shows on the West End, so I, I can't really say. Yeah. You didn't catch Maurice's performance, age seven, in Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat? Yes. Well, you must have had a very, <laughs> very <laughs> important prior engagement to have yeah. missed that yeah. unmissable <laughs> performance. Uh, that's a very diplomatic answer, Professor. This is why you're a professor. Excellent. A very good pun just popped up. A star. I've forgotten what the... Um... An A star is born. Sue, so, that's brilliant. And A Star is born. Yeah, yeah that's very, very good. Oh, well, classic Andy Chandler. Yeah, do you want to ask that question oh, of, your, of the professor? Does the professor think there is a single part of a musical, sorry, I'll direct it to you once, uh, that is more important than the rest? For example, lyrics, music, acting, story, dancing, etc. In the best musicals, it's all integrated so that one, can't, uh, one part can't really survive without the other. So I think in the very best musicals, the whole thing comes together in a wonderful palimpsest of uh, of sound and vision. Oh, these are good answers, <laughs> aren't they? Very good answers. <laughs> really good answers. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah. good questions as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. all extremely it's, learnt. It's, it's not usually this sophisticated and um, educational, yeah, is it? No, no. no. I was going to pretend to be offended, but it just isn't. Yeah, no. come on. Oh, man. There's it's normally, all... normally a lot more northern alchemy around and yeah. a lot less... All the downhill from now. Can you be back every week, uh, <laughs> Professor? Well, if you invite me, yes. Well, maybe we will. Well, oh, excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent. We, we, we'll probably we'll do one more batch of questions. Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, great, great, great. Um, thank you, thank you, Professor. Those were really good answers. Thanks for telling us everything you know about singers and dancers. Oh, that was so good. Oh. <laughs> and thank you, Jim Maurice. <laughs> uh, great. Oh, we are having a lot of fun today, aren't we? Uh, we've already asked that question. Great. Oh, I don't think I'm even going to get through all the songs because I'm not very good at putting set lists together anymore. Um, okay, let's do this song. Because I had a dream the other night about a werewolf, so let's sing Blue Moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's kind of the right key-ish.
watching. Yep, Maurice, is, Maurice give a thumbs up. Uh, Maurice, while you were out, many questions popped up while you were out vaping or drinking the Northern Alchemy or whatever it is a, a French nightclub host does when he's mincing around town. <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't ask any more questions. Uh, right, I'm going to try a song. Oh, I've put it on the list. I forgot to practice it. I practiced everything else today. Should we just do it? See what happens. Let's do it. Dave, know what key it's supposed to be in. Days can be sunny with never a sign. Don't know what. And then we'll bring the prof in for the final. I'm a bit overexcited today, actually, because I've got an audience. I haven't normally got an audience. <laughs> it's normally Maurice frantically writing down puns. It's a bit different today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, people are actually watching. <laughs> what key is this supposed to be in then? A. Eh? Anybody know? Nope. Let's take it up a bit. This is a great song. We've done this before. Uh... So Jack Murphy and Frank Wildhorn. They wrote musicals, they're amazing composers, um, and they discovered Linda Eden, who's often in their musicals. This was written in 1984, 1994. Uh, so then they wrote her some standalone songs.
very good questions coming in. Have you got enough questions to come on, Marisa? Would you like one more song? Yeah, 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 I've, got, uh, I've got some questions. Got some questions? All right. I'll do one more song anyway. <laughs> <laughs> final, get your final questions in. Uh, oh, have we done it? Oh, they're all so similar. Oh, no offence, Professor. Just <laughs> all the Professor's favourites. So similar. and astonished and astounded to have with us one of the professors who not only is a regular at the cabaret but wrote Blue Skies and Silver Linings aspect of the Hollywood musical Pam you now have a signed copy now we won't ask you uh, for your review of the book today um, but in the future it would be absolutely delightful to discuss it with you but today we are taking questions from the audience everything you've always wanted to know about musicals but we're too afraid to ask do we have any final questions? Maurice? We do have some final questions. I just I, there was a couple of puns. Oh, high school musical four, the gap year. Mm. Yes. Someone came up, and then I just thought of Ooh. on the way over. Ooh. Everyone says I love university. <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's not why we're here today. We're here for <laughs> questions, serious questions uh, from a man who knows how to answer them. <laughs> which is uh, you know half the battle. Which is, well, and also a complete change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, uh, Hazel asked, which musical would the professor like to see be made into a cinematic experience? Ooh. Or a film, I guess. Which, yeah, stage musical would you like to see as a film? A stage musical in a film? I think uh, you, it'd be a kind of remake of, of, of a stage musical because of so many of them have already been made into yeah. terrific films, haven't they? Mm. But I'll tell you one of the ones I would like to see done again because I love the music. Damn Yankees. Oh, yes, mm. yes, yes. Brilliant, brilliant uh, score, and uh, it was a wonderful film anyway, but um, directed by Stanley Donan, of course, who directed um, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, ooh, ooh, and uh, The Pajama Game, and many other films. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lot of fact f um, uh, fans in the audience, they do a lot of quizzes. Yeah, 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 okay, that's good. <laughs> um, Hazel also asked, what's the best song from any musical, or well, your favourite song? What's your favourite musical? 
they left it now. We won't hold you to it. Your top three. Your oh, top three. Oh, okay. Well, the one you've just been playing, cheek to cheek, is lovely, isn't it? Um, and from well, from Pal Joey, Bewitched, Bottled, and, and Bewildered. That's beautiful as well. Blue Moon. You played Blue Moon. That's oh, another that's Rogers and Hart number. Terrific. All, all of those are wonderful. Impossible to say. It's very hard. Those are excellent choices. Yeah. I should say at this point, I actually saw the professor in a production of Pal Joey. Okay. Leave that there. Possibly on the night I was uh, Simeon in uh, Joseph and the Technic on a Dream Possibly. Mm. What else do we need to know? Um, Andy wants to know, and I want to know this as well, what's the funniest musical? Mm. Mm. Funniest musical? The camera, Gosh. The camera, the camera. Uh, Love Me Tonight. Ooh. Love Me Tonight. Uh, with music by, um, uh, again, by uh, Rogers and Hart. Yeah. Love Me Tonight is a wonderful uh, film. Directed by Ruben Mamoulian, starring Maurice Chevalier. Maurice! Ah, Chevalier. my uh, namesake. <laughs> my namesake. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I must um, see that. <laughs> my surname is Chevalier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, but he did some other films as well, didn't he, Maurice Chevalier? Maurice Chevalier, there's some wonderful 1930s films with Lubitsch. Uh, the Merry Widow, One Hour With You is brilliant. Uh, talking about funny films, that's a terrifically oh. amusing film, yeah. Oh. One Hour With You. Maurice, this is great. Maurice, you know you're not Maurice. actually in them. Yeah. <laughs> but I could have. Yeah, you could be. You definitely could No, be. I'm just enjoying this, uh, yeah, this line of questioning. This is great. Very good. Um, West End or Broadway, which is best? Do you have an opinion? Uh, they're both great. Yeah. 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 Fly, fly the flag, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're the questions, and they're the Those answers. Are excellent questions. Well, you know, I'm going to play a couple more songs, but I think the professor, we only booked him for an hour, and uh, it's, it's, it's very you check, You've checked with my agent, have you? Checked with your agent, yeah, and... Okay. Uh, Checks in the post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, thank you very much, the professor. Thank you for inviting me. Thank oh, you for coming on to the show. Bravo, 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 bravo. Bravo, bravo. Now, I don't know if anyone's been listening to, um, and thank you, Maurice, no. uh, to Magic at the Musicals, but, you know, now, I know I play the same songs every week, but I always try and do at least one I've never done. They play the same songs every day. Putting on the Ritz, Electricity, the Broadway version, so the Geordie accents are terrible. Um, sorry if we've got any, if, if, if any of you in on that soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> um, they always do company, doorbell rings, thingamajingy, and comes company. It's always the same songs. Anyway, so, I'm going to do one, a song that they always play, putting on the Ritz, because it's really, really good. Uh, yes, everyone's saying thank you to the professor. It's a bit low, isn't it? What key is it in? Let's do it down here. Uh, so, on Magic at the Music
of the Back to School Cabaret. You have been fantastic. We have been Jenny Winter. Ooh, turn the volume down. We have also been Maurice. Just shout au revoir, Maurice. Au revoir. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we have also been the Professor. Au revoir. Goodbye. And you have been an absolutely super duper marvellous audience. Yes, and putting on the Ritz in Young Frankenstein is absolutely hilarious. What a brilliant note to leave on. We can all go and watch Young Frankenstein. And, uh, <laughs> oh, did anyone see it at the Theatre Royal with um, Ross Noble? And uh, uh, Mel Brooks was there in the audience on the first night because it opened in Newcastle. It was really, really funny with them. Um, oh, I've forgotten her name now. But famous cast. Ross Noble was great. <laughs> Have a marvellous week. We will see you all next Sunday at four o'clock for the Autumn Cabaret. Goodbye. Goodbye. Brava, 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 brava. Oops, we're still here. Brava.